This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about when Anu Enlil Ia created the heavens, a cosmological ritual. First, a couple jokes. Why can't pirates play cards? Because they always sit on the deck. <laughs> and what is a pirate's favorite letter? <laughs> Amos 5.8 Seek him, he who made the Pleiades and Orion, who turns darkness into dawn and darkens day into night who summons the waters of the sea and pours them out upon the surface of the earth. Today's reading is a cosmological in a ritual when Anu created the heavens along with Ea and Enlil. This is a fragmentary piece found in Babylon and was published in 1903. This ritual was found in a temple that had fallen and had to be restored. And part of the ritual is what they gave as an offering was bread, honey, butter, and oil that was found at this ritual offering. When Anu, Enlo, Ea, created the heavens. Ninamud created the ocean, his dwelling. Ea, in the ocean, broke off the clay. He created the god of bricks to renew the houses. He created the reed and forest for building works. He created the god of carpenters, the god of smiths, and Arazu to complete building work. He created the mountains and the seas for all. He created the God of goldsmiths, the God of smiths, the God of masons, and the God of miners for work and their rich produce for sacrificial gifts. He created Ashnan and Lakar, which can be equated to Genesis 4, the Cain and Abel story, and the debate, the Sumerian debate between cattle and grain, which was better, which, which is more important the cattle, or the grain. And he created Cirrus, Ningazida, who can be equated to Thoth, Hermes, and Enoch, Ninsar, and to make the offerings numerous, he created Utaman, who holds the sacrifices in his hand. He created Asag Zuga, the high priest of the great gods to complete the commands and ordinances. He created the king to adorn the shrine of the gods. He created man to carry on the worship. And this can be equated to Genesis 2-7. The Lord God Ea formed the man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living person. And he created this for the earth and the heavens. Anu, Enlo, Ea created the heavens and the earth. Remember your creators in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and the years approach, of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun is darkened, in October 2023 and April of 2024, when the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and the life breath returns to Anu, Enlo, and Ea, who gave it to you. Thank you so much, and always remember that you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Peace and love be with you.